The problem of the trade and export of import treasures belonging to the cultural heritage of Cyprus is not a new one. The indifference of conquerors, the poverty of the inhabitants, and the non-existence of laws until the beginning of British rule allowed various fortune hunters and grave robbers to amass priceless archaeological treasures and resell them to various museums abroad. The plunder of earlier periods, however, bears no comparison with the cultural destruction that took place with the invasion of Turkish troops in July 1974. The destruction and the trade in Cypriot antiquities was now large-scale and organized. The Turkish army and the occupying regime tolerated and in many cases assisted the pillage for the purpose of financial gain on the one hand and the alteration of the cultural character of the island on the other. Many finds by archaeological expeditions, exhibits in museums, and also antiquities from private collections were illegally exported and flooded Europe. A number of finds escaped the destruction thanks to the policy of the Antiquities Department of transferring the most important of these to the Archaeological Museum in Nicosia. <laughs> Αλλά υπήρχαν κάποια αξιόλογα πράγματα τα οποία μπορώ να πω είναι αξιόλογα σε τοπικό επίπεδο. Ε, Όπω για παράδειγμα στην Αμόχωστον υπήρχαν κάποια γάλματα από την περιοχή τη Σαλαμίνα και αρκετά ευρήματα από τι εκεί ανασκαφέ. The archaeological sites that escaped the pillage have been left to the mercy of nature and the ravages of time, neglected, uncared for. Whatever managed to escape the clutches of illicit dealers and vandals has been left to slow decay, not out of indifference, but on purpose, because the stones and statues give their own evidence, and this is different from that which the occupying regime wishes to show. The legal owner is powerless to react because he is up against an occupying power that not only shows no respect for the archaeological monuments, but tries to reap financial gain by selling them. Stolen Cypriot antiquities flood foreign markets. The civilization of Cyprus is literally going under the hammer. <laughs>